Well, the streets of uh, Philadelphia lined with conversation again about whether or not these big three can figure it out. Uh, reports came out that uh, Jimmy Butler aggressively had challenged head coach Brett Brown on um, the offense and his role in the offense. We, of course, are on the heels of forget about just with Jimmy's story and his timeline, but also Joel Embiid and his comments about the offense. And I mean, really, who doesn't talk about the Philadelphia 76ers? So let me start here, Jet. How much of this, and I feel like we're having the Durant Draymond conversation, sort of. How much of this, which gets more public now than when you started in your career, yep. is normal? And how much of what's going on right now with Philadelphia worries you a bit? <sighs> Let me see here. I'm going to tread lightly. Okay. But what I will say is it does happen, right? Um, star players, coach comes in with a new system, got a couple plays that I'm not involved in. We're going to have a conversation. I need to be more involved. I think if we try this, this will work. Now, a heated discussion, that's a little bit something different. So there has to be more to it there. I wish I was in that locker room to kind of, you know, monitor that situation. But I've had, I've had it happen. I mean, there was a situation in Dallas where – you know, uh, Rick Carlisle had called some plays that, you know, guys were looking like, man, why are we calling that now? But there was a discussion had. Both sides agreed that, okay, maybe I'll put away the play calling for now and I'll trust you all and allow you all to run it. Now, if it don't work, I'm going to hold you accountable. So that, that discussion is had from time to time. Um, Jimmy Butler's situation, because of the history it's just a little sticky. First of all, they'd like you in the locker room, too, because they need your scoring off the bench. They don't have oh, yeah. a bench uh, right <laughs> Struggle. now. So that's number one. Uh, make a call at Jet. You can get them. Uh, Griff, you know Jimmy, obviously. We know there are different personalities here. Are you concerned about what we're seeing with Philly? Sure, I am. And it, it's not necessarily as concerned about the Jimmy component of it. Mm -hmm. I am certain, based on what Brett Brown said coming out of that report as well, that he wasn't concerned with the tone of it. And contextually, it wasn't something that bothered him. I think that he and Jimmy probably have a relationship where Jimmy explained to him from the very beginning when he got there, look, I run hot. I compete. I'm going to go at you from time to time. Just go back at me and I'll be fine. Right. And I think Brett Brown's fine living in that space. He was with Pop for a long time. This isolated incident, I think probably far too much has been made of. What it tells me, though, is there's inner discord that actually brought this to light in the first place. Right. And that's what I'm uncomfortable with. If you forget the history Jimmy has for a moment and just take this isolated incident, what this really is more revealing of is there's a lack of comfort and fit there in general terms. Right. And someone wanted that to get out. Someone in that locker room is sharing information that stays inside that locker room. When it happened with you and it's Rick Carlisle and you're on a team with Jason Kidd and everybody knows who the unquestioned leader is, mm -hmm. that stuff doesn't go out. But know. when you've got a situation where people are all jockeying for position and they want to be the alpha, then you have these little things going on. Right. That's what concerns me. I'm much less concerned about the overall volatility of Jimmy Butler because you didn't acquire him knowing anything other than that's exactly who Jimmy is. But what they've had a hard time doing is making the fit work with those three guys. And that's not an easy thing to solve. Two you things. have a mole. Good. Yes. You have a mole. No, well, clearly it looks like there's two <laughs> sides. Like, I don't remember who the, the two dudes were in Twilight when they used to say, like, yeah. team this guy, that guy. Yeah. Thing, I don't know. But, uh, they, you know, right now you got team possibly Embiid and, and perhaps team Butler. And where does Simmons fit? And, oh, by the way, they need to try and figure it out and win games, which is.